and then click play when you're ready to progress. First thing I'm gonna do is go to classroom, find that animated GIF uh, background that I wanna use for our sample. So scrolling on down, I've got a maze, a pinball, air hockey, mini golf. Um, any of these are open for you to select. I'm going to select the maze and click this link to download it. Download. Once it downloads, I'm gonna open it up in Photoshop. Turn on my ellipse tool. I'm gonna to select a color that I wanna use for my ellipse tool. So this will be the ball that is navigating the space, okay? Um, I need to convert this to a smart object, so I'm gonna click, right click the layer that is my ellipse. I'm going to select convert to smart object, okay? Another way you can do that is you can go up to layer and smart object, convert to smart object. So um, however you feel. Um, now I have my smart object, my ball, I have my background, um, and now it's time to start animating. So make sure my workspace is set to motion. All right. Um, this is my ellipse here. And I'm going to start keyframing. My first keyframe will be right here. Okay. And if I want the ball to start right here, well, that's where I'm going to set my keyframe. And let me click the space bar and just watch it play out. Okay, not bad. If my if my ellipse layer is shortened, you'll see it just disappears, right? Because there's nothing there on this layer. So let me extend that. And I'm going to set my next keyframe. So I'm going to go further down the timeline. I'm going to move this ball. There we go. And now it's going to fill that gap with... it moving from point to point. Okay, now um, I'm gonna move this ball again. Let's see, I think once it reaches this right about here, uh, I want it to fall. So another way you can animate guys is you can, um, you can click this little button here and that will create a new keyframe. All right, so now it goes from here to here and then as it moves across, well, I want it to go down. So now it's gonna go over and down. And then I want it to go over here. And then fall. But as it's falling, uh, it's gonna need a squish in between these. So you guys can just create a smaller ball if you'd like. Um, I'm gonna actually have it squished squish like that to fit in that space. Um, I had to click this place button to, to make the, the ball scale back to its... There we go. And now it's going to fall. Just like that. And you can see a new keyframe appeared because I moved it. So once it gets to about here, I want it to, let's see, stretch back out. And I'm gonna click this here to place it. There we go. You can see it'll go back to its original state. And go over and back down. Now, folks, if you set your keyframes, I haven't been paying too much attention to the speed that it's moving. So maybe what I wanna do is move these keyframes around so it looks a little bit more believable. So I think it would probably fall a little quicker right there. So I'm gonna have it fall quicker and move these keyframes over, just slide them all over. 
stopping by clicking the space bar. Um, and you're going to want to animate your ball or your puck if you're doing air hockey or whatever it might be. Um, have it animate it through the space. You know, it should be starting from off screen. So let me go back in my timeline way over here. And I'm just going to slide this off screen. There we go. And I'm just going to continue to animate it so that it goes through the space. Squish them on down. And for this one, it's not creating a keyframe, as you can see, because I'm actually transforming this. I'm making it, um, I'm applying some squash and stretch. So I'm going to click this little place button here. There we go. Now move back over, further down the timeline, have it fall right off screen. That's, uh, that's the whole procedure. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do now is export this. So I'm gonna go up to File, Export, Save for Web. We'll wait for the computer to chug, chug, chug. There we go. And now we are going to set this looping for forever. So it'll play over and over and over again. There's really not a lot of color happening here, so I could probably get away with making it more like eight. And um, this is gonna save on the space. Um, your GIF will be a lot smaller file size. It'll open a lot faster. Let's save it. Save it to my desktop, sure. You guys can save it to your drive. I believe you have an option to do, or just download it to your, um, save it to your downloads folder. That also works or your images folder that will also work all right so it's saved um, you can test your animation by dropping it right into a browser window so I'm just going to grab it here and drop it in and watch it play through all right folks that's it uh, please let me know if you have any questions as per usual and um, I'm here for you so email me ask me during class um, after you uh, you finish your animation, please post it to your digital sketchbook and uh, looking forward to seeing them. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.